Come on. Yes, you can. You go. Come on. Run, damn it.
monsieur. Your car is here. Merci. Now, let's walk. After those threats on your life, you shouldn't mm. walk. The car's much safer, sir. Calm down, Magrini. You're so damn jumpy. You're going to make me afraid. Just so damn stuffy in that meeting, I wanted to get some air. And afterwards, we can take the car and go straight to the airport. That'll get us to Geneva in time for lunch with the minister. No! Just one shot, Alico. Who do you think killed Harmacola? Did you know him? I never met Harmacolas in my life. I never even used his brand of gas. When I want a full tank, I get shelled. Can What's I your connection you? then? Well, if you just let me through and wait till I find out myself, then maybe I'll be able to tell you. Anyway, listen. Pass the word about the show I'm doing at the Olympia. Be my guest. You can relax and have some fun. It's a bang-up show. Do you recognize it? Yeah, I, uh, I think I do. I bought it a couple of years back. Then I gave the bike to a friend. His name? John Daniel Auger. When was the last time you saw him? A year ago, I guess. We saw each other a lot then. You know, I started making money. Got more and more to do, more responsibilities. Jean Daniel wanted to keep on at the same scene as before. Boozing it up, fun and games. I wanted to stop before the games became something that would get me into trouble. You were right. And that's why we've got you in here as a witness. With your name and lights. And thousands of fans at your feet. My daughter has a room full of your records, posters and other souvenirs. <laughs> Where is Jean Daniel? What did he do? The spike? Wasn't Jean Daniel Harmacolis' bodyguard? Huh. Yes, but. They quarreled. Harmacolis fired him. Jean Daniel threatened him. Must have been a vendetta. He swore he'd make him pay for what he did. Yeah, well, yeah. So what? They always say stuff like that. I know. Only sometimes they go through with it. Harmacolis's murderer was on that bike. We got his description from his secretary. We found it on the railroad tracks before Leon at a level crossing without a guard. Just as you see it now. Jean Daniel is from Leon. What about him? Oh, Jesus. What a mess. You tend to look like that when you're run over by a train. Worse sometimes. At least, this one's all in one piece. Poor Jean Daniel. Thank you, Monsieur Nicole. Now the Harmacolis case is closed, which is just as well. The inquest and his trial would have triggered off no end of arguments and accusations. If you hadn't made this identification, we might have suspected somebody else. Merci, monsieur. Bonjour. Bonjour.
I've made a list of all the things we have to buy. Now we have to figure out how much they're going to cost. Hmm? Sure. Now then, snakeskin bag for Aunt Carmela. 30,000 lira for Lucetta. Gift basket with Christmas cake. Candy and chocolates. That's another 20,000 lira. Oh, Uncle Nicola. I don't know. I thought about some books on hunting. I guess I'll have to ask about them in a bookshop, hmm? Hello? When? All right, I'll be right over. Don't tell me you have to go out. Yeah, I know it's a bore, but I've got to, honey. I'm sorry. But isn't the governor there? Not today, either. No, he's still in Rome. But this is your free afternoon. We were going to go out and get our shopping done. I got to go, I told you. Anyway, you can go and do the shopping by yourself, hmm? I don't like to go out alone. Well, you have to. You're my wife now, hmm? Mm. You live in Milano. You gotta get used to going around by yourself. Hmm? Hmm? And you're my wife now. Joe. I'll tell you what. You go and get the things that you're sure about. And then tomorrow or the next day we get the rest of the stuff together, right? All right. Okay. Ciao. Ciao. Oh, don't be late. You're telling me? You're the one who always gets back when the dinner's burned. Okay, I'll try and be early tonight. <sighs> Sorry, I had to disturb you, sir. Some, some lunatic's gone and locked himself up in the infirmary, threatening to cut his throat. The rest of the prisons are cheering him on. Anything to cause trouble and get in the newspapers. Anyway, I didn't know what to do, so I, I thought I'd better call you, sir. <laughs> All his life, it's hell on earth, and I'm not going to rot in here. I want work. I want out. I want work. Do you hear me, cop? What am I going to send my, my family? What? Don't you come in. Don't come in. I will kill myself. You're a fool. <laughs> How can you feed your family if you kill yourself? Hmm? Hmm? They're certainly not going to be able to eat you, are they? No. Are you Japanese? Stay, stay back. Are you Japanese? Because I'm going to tell you something, boy. Stay back. Only the Japanese know how to use a knife on themselves properly. <laughs> Only the Japanese. Now you give me that and then nobody's going to hurt themselves, huh? <laughs> Get him! <laughs> Let me go! Let me go! He's crazy. Pack him off to the nut house. No, he's not mad. He's drunk. Who let him have drink in here? Anna? Anna?
Police headquarters here. Hello? Hello, this is police headquarters. Hello? Hello? Milo Ruiz, son of Pablo Ruiz and Jean Durand. Born in Casablanca, 16th April 1946, deserted from the Foreign Legion in 1970 with Italian passport. And prevented detention awaiting trial for attempted robbery. One accomplice is yet untraceable. Hmm. Evening, sir. What's the story on Milo Ruiz? A real tough one, but a loner. The kind of guy who would cause a great deal of trouble if he set his mind to it. I want to see him. Hey, Ruiz. On your feet. Get rid of that cigarette. I was dreaming about dough. Then you arrive and messed up the finale. Get him out of here. Leave me here with Ruiz, will you? Come on, come on. I appreciate your company. It's a real pleasure to have you here. I want you to treat this cell as your own. Who are they? Mistaken. There's nobody. Then who wants you out of here? Who wants you out of here? I guess my lawyer. Yeah. Who else would be trying to pull me out of here? Unless, of course, it's an honest citizen who wants to see justice done. I mean, everybody knows I'm a victim of a miscarriage of justice. After all, I haven't done anything. I want to see him in my office. Which one, Ruiz? No, the other one. Who are Milo Ruiz's friends? Who was he in contact with in Milano before he was picked up? All right. Warden, you'll let me stay here in Milano? I'll forget the report. Milo hasn't been here long. He pulled his jobs with a friend, but he never said who he was or whatever became of him. Was he a Sicilian? No, French. They're both from France. Who is behind him? Who were his contacts? No one, as far as I know. The only name I, I ever heard him mention was a... Uh, Grappa. Mm. Mm. Sweet bitch. Oh. Mm. Hey, what the hell are you doing? She's not the only one who wants you, Grappa. Do you hear me? Uh. You should concentrate a little harder. Oh! Always ready for love and the law. Who'd have thought that when they made you the vice governor of a lockup, you'd hang on to all the bad manners of a cop? When I'm dealing with crooks like you, there's no point in being polite, is there? Listen, man, I'm clean. I'll see you get 10 years, you bastard. And boy, are the lights of gangland gonna shine. With me in the jug for 10 years, the police are gonna stay all walled up. You won't even be able to touch the crimes they confess to without the right kind of tip-off. 
You give me one now. Who wants Milo Ruiz out of jail? <clears throat> Who's protecting him? Nobody. Ruiz isn't one of the regulars. He'll do a job, then blow. Then maybe turn up as an oil sheik's bodyguard. Then take a rest in the bed of some millionaires. Milo has no pride in his career. He's no professional. He'll turn in a front page job worth millions, and then the next job will be lifting the till of a two-bit movie house. A guy that operates like that has no brain or boss behind him. Take my word for it. And yet somebody's willing to pull blackmail to get him out. Who would that be? I spoke to somebody on the phone the other day. The voice was disguised, but it was Sicilian. What about a tie-up with the Mafia? No. It's another crowd. As far as Miller Ruiz goes, the Sicilian would only be working as a bag man. They come up from the south on contract, do the job, killing, kidnapping, or whatever, and disappear without leaving a trace, a motive, nothing. They are professionals, homegrown gunmen. We used to be a backward country, but now we're moving up fast. Gordon, that's enough talk. From now on, you're gonna do it our way. You ain't got that much time. Just get Milo Ruiz out of the can for us, or we'll take care of your little wife. <laughs> now say hello to your husband. Tell him that you're okay. Vito! Help me, Vito! Please, darling. Please, help me, please. Hear that? It seems like we're getting on your wife's nerves, just like you're getting on ours. So get please, off the pot. Please, help. And stay away from the police. If you lay a hand on her, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna report you. I'm gonna kill you, to hear? I'm gonna kill you even if I have to chase you to the end of the earth. Now you listen to me about that. Send me Milo Ruiz to the interrogation room. Yes, sir. Take the prisoner Milo Ruiz to the interrogation room. All right, get out of here. See that nobody comes in till I call. give you a chance to escape. You ask for a medical. And you be ready at 8 o'clock when they change the guards, right? And you pray to somebody that you make it. Hmm. Better get yourself a good night's rest. they are orders to have you x-rayed tomorrow morning. I want a couple of million copies for my all-girl fan club. You can make them black and white. I'll have him framed. Ah, good evening, Doctor. I was just coming to find you. Ah, good evening, Fentuzzi. What is it? Uh, the usual problem. Uh, a prisoner fell down the stairs. Hmm, I suppose he split his lip and bruised his stomach, right? Yeah, I don't think it's serious. Anyway, you're to give him a checkup in the morning. You might as well give him a chest x-ray, too, while you're at it. Right. His name is Mueller Ruiz. Right. All right, you can bring him in any time after nine in the morning. Thanks, Doctor. That'll be fine. Well, I've got to be running along now. My wife will kill me. Marichalo! Come here a minute, will you? What do you want? I'm having an x-ray tomorrow morning, and I'd kind of like to get cleaned up before I do. Can I take a shower?
Shalafan Tutsi. Report the warden to be on his office at once. run for it and I'll shoot your legs off. I promise you. And I'll be with my rights. Capturing an escaped prisoner will give you those extra needed points for promotion. I can phone. Now nah, you listen to me, you shit. I've 
kept my side of the bargain. Now you give me all your friends' names or I swear to God I'm gonna blow your guts out right. But I don't know who they are. You must believe me. Honestly, I don't know. Then why the hell did you go through with all this? I saw a good chance to get out of jail. Hell, what'd you expect of me? I mean, do you expect me to refuse your offer? You gotta think. You gotta think hard. And you gotta think which of your friends would think of a plan like this one. I've been doing nothing else but think of that. Only I don't have anybody who could help me like this. The only friend who might have tried to help me, I buried with my own hands. Anyhow, as long as whoever took care of all the arrangements for my escape sees I'm your prisoner, he'll never deliver. Maybe your best chance would be to let me go. You're staying with me. I'm glad about that. We'll have a few laughs together. Huh. What a place for a vice governor. It looks like the George Sank in Paris. Huh. Say, did you save up for it or win it in a lottery? Shut up. If you don't want to talk, I might as well rest. <laughs> you know, you're pretty smart, aren't you? Who'd ever think of looking for an escaped prisoner in the vice governor's house? Shut up. Mind turning off the light? I want to sleep. <clears throat> once more, and I swear to God, I'll blow your fucking guts out. Now, you just sit down. Sit down! What are you doing here this time of night? Sir, I've grown to admire you a lot. You've done so much for me in the past, but now I've got myself in serious trouble. It's too big for me. What are you trying to tell me? Mila Ruiz escaped when you had me called to your office. They've been asking a lot of questions. But I haven't talked. I didn't tell them anything. But if I find myself up against a disciplinary commission tomorrow, how am I going to justify being absent from my posts? Tell them the truth. Tell them I sent you away. But you weren't there. And then they will start investigating you, too. Those talks you had with Ruiz and all the rest. Look, I have nothing to hide. Yeah. Did you get that merchandise out of storage for us yet? Well? Yes. I'm happy to hear that. Now all you have to do is deliver it to the old foundry. In two hours, all right? And no tricks. You and the merchandise. No one else. They kidnapped my wife in order to force me to release Milo Ruiz. 
Well, I need some time and some help. Because I'm going to catch those bastards and throw them in the jug. I'm with you, all right. Just for once, I want to feel what it's like to catch a crook again. I'll help you. It'll be like old times in homicide together. We sure used to round them up then, didn't we, sir? Yeah. That must be them. It looks like they're afraid you tipped off the police. Yeah, they're making quite sure what you'd call a thorough sweep. Now, they won't show themselves till they're sure the place is clean. They got a picture. So now they know it's us. Hey, look at that. There's Shut up. I saw them before in my life. Hand over Milo Ruiz. Send him over. You hand over my wife! We didn't bring her. It's too risky. And I suppose it wasn't risky me allowing a prisoner to escape from jail. No, I kept my side of the bargain. You bastards keep yours. Milo Ruiz stays with me until you hand over my wife. We have no instructions about that. Will you take instructions from me on that? You find my wife? And you bring her back here in one hour, I promise you our friend here is going to find himself locked up in his cell by tomorrow morning. And don't you think I won't find you either? Even if I have to shake the whole fucking countryside inside out like a fucking sock! Now you got that! anybody following us. Look, let me go, Cipriani. I give you my word they'll send it back to you. I'll make sure they do. I don't take the word of criminals. You're my only guarantee. calling you from a restaurant on the same road. They're a couple of miles away from here. Yes. They're at a farmhouse on the Ticino Road, number 418. What do I do now? Oh! oh.
Hallo. Your goddamn husband's full of police! Come on! No! What are you gonna do to me? For God's sake, let me go! Please don't kill me! No! Hold it! How dare you act without orders? They discovered the hideout. They didn't stick to the bargain. If they have discovered our hideout, you'll just have to find another. I didn't give orders to kill. I'm not so extravagant with dead bodies as you seem to be. They obviously gave me the wrong information about you. You're not professionals. Why? We still have to, to get rid of her. Don't we, huh? No. You're the ones we're getting rid of. Take the train and go back to where you came from. You're through here. The girl stays with me. Now I'll take over and play it my way. The risk is mine. See that there is nothing lying around. Clean the place up, and then get out. Let's write something to your husband. Anything at all. Just so he'll know that you're alive. That's at least one thing the Sicilians have done for us. They've got you thinking along the right lines. Now, I'm quite sure you're going to be a good girl, aren't you? Hmm? We'd better freshen up. We have to go now. We'll be moving amongst people. supposed to touch a corpse before the police have seen it. They'll soon be here. You know who he is? Must have been hit by a car or a truck from the look of him. He's got no identification on him. I guess he's a local drunk or a tramp. He was a good man. Better than you. That's got to be the police, 20 minutes late as usual.
Puzzles always did give me an awful headache. <laughs> well, man, it's just being killed, so you're gonna have your fucking freedom. But I swear to God, unless you start talking, I'm gonna see the color of your guts. Will you quit that? If you treat me nicely, I'd be very willing to help out. What does this mean? Uh, it's the name of a French guy who lives in Milan. What's his name? I don't know his real name, but he's called Joe Lacourse. Is he a friend of yours? No. He's just an informer, but not a regular. I'll bet you know who arranged all this. You know all the people. I have no idea. But if anyone knows, he will. I'm sorry. But there must be some sort of mistake. I've never seen this young man before. Come on, Joe, out with it. The only reason we're here is because they left us your name as a lead. So you better tell me what it is I'm supposed to be told or I'll take this little school of yours apart. I don't know what you're talking about. And I advise you not to make any threats. Now I suggest you leave. Or I'll be forced to call the police. You call the police. And what should I tell them? I have an escaped convict here in my school. And with him, the warden who planned the entire operation. Get on with it. They told me to give you this. Take a look. I don't know what they mean. See if you understand. Come on, you bastard. Get up! Or are you only good at hitting people who can't hit back, huh? Get up and fight. You still got me tied. And beating up prisoners is easy, isn't it? And you're very good at it. Give me the keys of his pocket. They're in his jacket. They're waiting for you in Paris. They didn't think you'd be able to shake your jailer. That's why they took his wife with them. Now you must finish the job. He knows too much. You've no other choice. Tell me this is the first time you've ever killed anybody. Don't tell me I'm the first. Shut up! Well, go on! No, I've seen a lot of murderers. But I've never seen the moment a man becomes one. Shut up, you bastard! Shut up! How can I let you live? You'd go to the police if I did. So I must kill you. Now you listen to me. Uh, I'll pay my debt after to the Lord, to society, to whoever you want, okay? 
You're just like those stupid bigots who think that the confessional is the key to goodness. For six days they sin, and then get absolved on the seventh. And me? You'll try and send me to prison, won't you? You'd be in the clear, wouldn't you, with me back inside? I want my wife. Give me my wife. And I'll make her I've never seen you. Mm -hmm. I'll help you find her. You got a lot to learn about life. Here's lesson number one. Let's go. Made the order. It's got my name on it. I prefer it in the name of Onassis, but I guess Rockefeller would be just as good, right? I don't care what name you use. A passport's got only one price. And who's he? Don't worry about him. He's clean. Ah, uh, then he'll cost you more. Another 500. Hey, be fair. How am I going to find three grand? Listen, either I'm going to hold up a gas station or you're going to break into your piggy bank. We're going back to my place. Check on airports, the railway, and bus stations. Right. Hey, you learn fast. Keep this up, and we'll be as good as Bonnie and Clyde. They're going to be on the watch for me, too, now. Don't worry about it. It's bad for a couple of years. After that, it doesn't bother you. They're going to expect us to try and get out of the country on forced passports. That's what you bastards always try to do. We'll have to try another way. A way they won't be watching for. Problem is, which one? Huh? Which one? Yeah, you're right. I know one thing. Whatever we do, we got to try to get in with a crowd of people. Alone, we're too conspicuous. See that girl with the black curly hair? She knows the mountains like the palm of a hand. Carlotta, what are you running away from? I'm not running. I'm just leaving. I'll be back. As long as there are people who need to cross the border, I'll be around to give help. You ever caught? Once or twice a year. Baby, you just wouldn't ruin my day. Aren't you going to ask what I'm running away from? <laughs> no, and don't tell me. It's better. There she is. Ciao. Yes, hello. Come on. Are we all ready? Ready. Dobre. Ciao. Pushne. Yes, Mark. Everyone here? I'm on. Okay, let's go. Fill her up. 
Va bene. It is cold now, but wait, it'll be worse. Yeah. Tired? No, cold. Hey, look at that camper. Mm-mm, we got visitors. Got a mat? Yeah. Give me that list. Get in the truck. Let's get in. That's it, all right. Will you get in? Mark! Stop! 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 Let's try and get off the main road, up in the mountains. Come on. Pretty good last night, you know that? I almost killed a man back there. A man earning his bread the same way as me, and I did it without even really caring at the time. Without even really knowing why. I was watching you while you were driving. You were living every second of it. You had confidence in yourself. Real confidence. You like danger. You got a bent for it. Could you have been anything better than a warden? What's the difference? Couldn't you have been anything better than a crook, huh? No, it's in my blood. I was born a crook. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Trespassing. Come on. Don't look so shocked. We're not going to be charged with breaking and entering. This place belongs to me. Last one in, please shut the gate. Let's make a run for it. Come on. now, aren't we? It's the police! Listen, let's split. If the police get me, I don't want you to be caught, too. But I want to see you again. You will. We'll meet in Paris. I got some business I have to do there. I got your address. I'll find you. Ciao, Bella. Ciao. Ciao. Un ami 
reste toujours un ami Quand la vie n'a plus d'amour Depuis toujours ma prière C'est d'avoir sur terre Au dernier soir de ma vie La main d'un ami Adieu à la vie, les yeux d'un ami. Hop, coupez, ça suffit comme ça. thinking about you, Milo, and John Daniel, when I made this record. How much you make on it? An ami reste toujours un ami. Tell me, what are you doing here? I thought you were in prison. I'm here thanks to you, buddy. When the homecoming's over, how about my side of the deal? Hmm. They use the sourpuss there. He looks like a dog without a home. Listen, I'm sick and tired of going around with that creep, so why not just hand over his woman and we'll send him back to Milan? His woman, you say? Hmm. I don't have her. Look, Al, he's a prison warden and a tough one. He could break you in two. What the hell are you talking about? Now, you listen to me. Somebody got me out of prison by stealing this guy, Cipriani's wife. And Joel, of course, sent me to you, Al. If you're afraid to talk because he's here, don't worry. He's into it up to his neck. Worse than us. <sighs> Come on, who else would have done so much to help me? I've only had two friends in my life, you and John Danielle. And now that he's dead, well, you're the only one that could have done it. Who told you Jean Danielle was dead? Have you seen somebody else here in Paris? I didn't see anybody. I was with him in Milan all the time. He got killed doing a job with me. Poor bastards under a pile of stones. He didn't want to finish in a morgue. You must be crazy. Jean Daniel died in France. He got run down by a train while he was getting away. After he murdered his, his ex-boss, Harmacolis. I recognize his body and that motorcycle I gave him. You're right out of your mind. Jean Daniel never killed anybody. Who was it you recognized? Him! It was Jean Daniel! Did you get a good look at him? Did you see his face? You didn't, did you? Then you better go to the police. Tell him you might have made a mistake. And we'll pull up both the bodies and see which is Jean Daniel. You've come here to hang something on me. What is it, blackmail? What do you want, money? Here, take this and get out. Why, you bloody little piece of horse shit. You lied about Jean Daniel. In fact, you're in this up to your filthy... Shut mouth, up! Right? Now, who's giving you orders? Who's paying you? <laughs> Now, you get my wife back. Or by God, I swear I'll break you bastards. Now you're in this. So you start looking for her. Right. We'll give you three and a half hours to find her. That's all the time you've got. So these are your friends, huh? These are the sort of people I'm supposed to rely on, I suppose. Hmm? 
congratulations. Look, the price is very reasonable. It'll make your fortune. So a million and a half isn't really very much to pay for a music publishing house. Besides, the records alone are surely worth it. Oh. Excuse me. Sure. A couple of girls just arrived. New ones. You want to see? Oh, Hi. Can I take your coat? Oh, would you please? I'd appreciate it. Thanks. <laughs> Let me get you a drink. Yeah, fine. You free tonight? For you, yes. Yeah. Well, well. Here you are, Mr. Bronson. She's all yours. Well, now, my dear, come along. I can't stay here. I have to get out of Paris. Why? Cancel all my engagements. Get me all the money you can. Book me an air ticket. Any way you like. As long as the plane leaves in a few hours and is going as far as it can get from here. I don't know. You'll have to stay here and look after things. Now go arrange for the ticket and the bread. Get out. Nervous? Is something wrong? I'm in trouble. I want to clear out. Huh? Why? I can't tell you why. Can you help me? Find some place where nobody can find me? Mm hmm If I find a place for you, there'll be one too many who knows where it is. I'm the one you're trying to get away from. What do you mean? I got Milo Ruiz out of jail. I gave orders to Joe LaCourse to send him to you. What's the point in running away? It's also simple. They've been following us for too long. Yeah, our friend Al Nico put him on our tail. He's afraid we'll go to the police. They got their sights fixed on us. We're like sitting ducks at a shooting gallery. Let's split up. You better drive, because those two are after me. Circle the block and pick me up here. did Milo Ruiz have to tell you? I didn't know you were in this. Why did you send him to me? He was your friend. He would have talked to you. I don't want any more of this. Why did you want to get me mixed up in it? Because you're in it already. You recognized a corpse and it wasn't the right one. And you knew it. That's the kind of story that made you famous.
You were launched on the road to fame and fortune because you are one of us. And we'll make you disappear when you aren't anymore. I want to know what's happened to Jean Daniel, that's all. He's dead. He was killed in a robbery. Milo buried him so that his body wouldn't be found in Italy someplace. So now everything's all right. Nobody will find him down there. Hmm. And Jean Daniel could keep on being the man who killed Hamakolos. All investigation of his death must be stopped. So you were in on that too, huh? Don't ask questions. And don't try to see what's going on. I wouldn't advise it. You have to answer to me. I have to answer. Only to whoever is behind me. Right? Yeah? You big phony. Are you through yet with having us followed? Now tell us everything you know. Or so help me God, I'll forget you ever were a friend. Listen to me, Milo. I'm sorry about what's happened. But now the whole thing is fixed. It's all going to turn out okay. Tell your policeman that if he wants his wife, he can make the swap at the Place Belleville, okay? When it's over, come to my place. I've got some checks. I'll save you the best, huh? Maybe. You win. <gasps> What's the panic? What are you afraid of? Surely not me. I only came to get this. I want to get it pressed. You can't go out like that. Not in Paris. Are you going to be taking me away? I hear there's another tourist in town. Your husband's arrived. <gasps> so are we leaving then? We've got an appointment. All of us. You're taking no chances. But that's the way some deals are done. The way I see it, it's a trap. Otherwise, why didn't they ask for guarantees? Huh? It stops me exposing them later. If you don't trust them, why did you come? It's the only way I can tell whether my wife's still alive. You poor bastard. Brought your wife. Let's make the swap and call it a day.
possible. We've been wrong all the time. All the time. They want you out so they can kill you. I'm calling the whole thing off. Shit. I'm handing you over to the police in order to get you locked up again. No. That's so good. The moment you turn me over to the police, they'll kill your wife. And sooner or later, they'll get rid of me, too. We've got to handle this now. You and me. You and me. Together. Take me down, Nicole. Take me down now. You're not gonna make it. Look at you. What about that girl? The one at the frontier, where does she live? No, I don't want her in this. Look, we need somewhere to hide. They're gonna come searching for us and the police find us with some fucking stolen car riddled full of bullets. We are sunk, baby. Now, where does she live? Hmm. That's Furstenberg 6. Hey, you should have been a professional nurse. Oh, that feels good. I haven't had someone bathe my brow in a long time. Just keep it pressed there. You forget a lot of things when you're in jail. Certain feelings and emotions. Because you blot them out. Thanks, my friend. Call? Vito Cipriani. Now you listen to me, you little worm. Don't you think you're not in this right up to your neck this time? Tell that son of a bitch I'll break every stinking bone in his body when I see him again. It's not my fault. Tell Milo. Well, it wasn't me. Tell him I didn't know. That's enough talking. I know now why you wanted Milo Ruiz out of jail. I know you wanted to kill him. And I now know what you wanted to know. And I've had enough. I just, I just want my wife back within half an hour and go to the police. Do you understand? Okay. Agreed. Now you're in this strong position. Give us Milo, and we'll give you your wife. I don't make deals with you. I just want my wife back, period. Come and get her. She's right here. I don't believe you. Try believing her. Vito? He says he's tired of the whole affair. And that he'll let me go. If you don't report him. If you can help me. Please. Help me. This has to end. Uh, Anna, don't worry. Look, they're not going to hurt you anymore, I promise you. Anna, please don't worry. You understand now we want this thing over with? Come here and pick her up. And then, leave. I want to speak to my wife. What are you going to do with me when you get her? I don't want you to turn me over to them. I don't give a fuck what you want. You can crawl around here killing yourself for as long as you like. I don't give a shit. I just want to get out of this sewer and forget that you ever existed.
Your wife is now a long way from here, Signor Cipriani. These are photostats. The original documents are in the hands of people who are only waiting for a phone call to register them and put them into operation. For example, here. On evidence that has been turned in and the testimony of witnesses, your wife is accused of the murder of Al Nico. Here, we have a certificate stating she committed suicide while undergoing treatment in a psychiatric clinic from an overdose of heroin. Here's a nice one, without any names on it. Here, your wife doesn't even exist for us. She's just any young woman who has come to Paris with a husband for a holiday, starting from tomorrow. Ah, the choice is yours. You are a murdering bastard. And you're in one hell of a mess. I'm afraid you'll just have to accept my conditions. Al Nico has played his part. And I've closed his little show. If you agree to cooperate, I could, of course, make his death look like an accident. And you could simply take your wife and disappear. But first, you'll have to take me to Milo Ruiz. They'll only kill him. You'll only kill him! There's nothing you can do about it. You can't stop, it's too late. Where is Milo Ruiz? That would make me an accomplice to murder. Well then, you do it. You kill him, Signor Cipriani, it's the only way. Milo is condemned already. He has no way out. There is nowhere he can go knowing something about the death of a man like Armacolas. It's better to be killed by a friend. Better to die like a bull in the arena than end up at the butcher. Milo would see that. It's what he'd do. It is not my way. And yet... Things will work out only if you kill Milo. We'd have the guarantee that you would never talk. You'd have the guarantee that we'd have no further reason not to let you go. And someone behind me would have the satisfaction of knowing that the Harmacolis case would never be reopened again. I am not a murderer. There is no question of that. You are an officer of the law who has tracked down an escaped prisoner and shoots to recapture him. It's the law. We want witnesses to say you acted in legitimate defense. I can get them for you. You want a favorable police report. I can get you one. You are a liar! You are a hired crook. You can't fix things like that. Signor Cipriani, I have behind me people so big they can crush you and all you stand for for a thousand generations. Be very careful in what you decide to do. You cannot allow yourself to make a mistake.
stay until this whole filthy business is finished. No. You can't help me here. And it's better if I don't have to worry about you. Whatever the result, I'm afraid it's going to finish badly. For me or for them. Listen. People in the world are not all gangsters, you know. There are other kinds. Don't you see, Milo? This mess you're in reeks of politics. Hermacolis was a capitalist whose political line was against the interests of his class. A traitor to the people he worked for, and class traitors are hated. There were the Kennedys, Matei, Trotsky. I hadn't thought of a political angle. You're a clever girl, you know. There's only one way out for you. Tell the truth. Tell everything you know to as many people as possible. Make the whole thing public. Make a full statement to the press. And that's where I can help you. I've got contacts. I know the people you should talk with. Listen, Milo. All hell will break loose with this thing. You can knock the system right back to the Middle Ages. I don't say you'll destroy it, but you'll bring a big chunk down. I don't give a damn what it's going to do to society. I'll make a deal with Al Nicole. Yeah, make him a proposition. I'll keep silent and return for a big check from his bank account in Switzerland. I mean, Al's made plenty through them. Why shouldn't I get a part? Hmm. He's a little bastard. Yeah. Might have known. I thought you had a decent streak somewhere. Self-respect or something. I was wrong. As long as there are people like you around, the world will remain a sewer. What are you doing? I have to hurry. My train leaves in an hour. Hey, Paula. Where are you going? What do you care? You won't be here when I get back. Oh? Where will I be? In the morgue. They'll kill you. And you'll die in order to cover up for a jerk who sits at his desk killing Don't me. say that! See you in hell. It's like for me to come here like this. My name is Vito Cipriani. I'm vice governor of Munzer Penitentiary. I I allowed a prisoner to escape. I've come here to give myself up. Look, I don't mind what happens to me, but I need your help. They kidnapped my wife. And only the police can help me now. They kidnapped your wife? Yes. I'm not sure that I follow. Who did? Can you please give me their names? No, no. But I do know they were at Al Nichols' house. And they killed him. Unless you do something to help me, they're going to kill her too. Do you understand that? You reported the death of Al Nico as a murder committed by your wife's kidnappers. Yes. And according to your statement, they arranged things so that the guilt would fall upon her. Yes. Is that true? Yes! On the other hand, our reports say that Al Nico's death was accidental. That's not true. An Thank overdose you. of drugs. We found the needle that gave him the fatal dose. His fingerprints are the only ones on it. So what is this story you're giving me? They're trying to make me look like a lunatic as if I'm seeing things. They're trying to discredit my statement. Can't you see that? I mean, the whole fucking thing's a trap. They don't want me to talk, so they won't find out who killed Hamakulis. Can't you see that? You bastards! I am risking my wife's life, and you bastards are hanging around on it. Fuck all! All right, all right. All right. Come in, gentlemen.
Thank you, Claude. You may go. Come over here. Come on. Sit down. Monsieur Cipriani, I believe your story. I've made inquiries in Italy, you see. And all reports I've received show you to be a citizen of very high standing with an admirable service record. I can imagine what a man of your character and integrity must have gone through before deciding to allow a prisoner to escape. You must love your wife very much, monsieur. And of course you are worried for her safety. I can understand that. And I can understand what it cost you to come here to us. We know that the moment Milo Roy's reports to the police, your wife will be killed. And I can understand your reservations about handing Royce over to us. You can't put the life of an innocent young woman on the same plane as the life of a common criminal. You must know that, having worked with them. That is why, before you sign your um, statement, I want to give you the opportunity to consult a lawyer who will advise you of the risks you may be exposing yourself to. Harmacolis was a great oil magnet, but he refused to respect the interests of his industry. He was under the illusion that he could alter the balance of, or break up, the established order. Society defended itself and removed the disturbing element from its ranks. You know something, the way you say that, it, it sounds like a bureaucratic adjustment. Like a cross in a register by a name, not like somebody bleeding to death in the street. You were an inspector in homicide, right? And now you're in charge of a penitentiary, so tell me yourself. Is arresting and isolating the elements that create a disturbance against the interests and welfare of the community anything more than a bureaucratic operation? No, it is not, but at least there we were trying to deal with the problem. You can't say that. It must happen over and over again to you and your colleagues and every police force in the world. But you use a gun to arrest society's criminals, to stop an escape or put down a rebellion. And again and again, that gun shoots to kill. And rightly so. There's nothing you can do about it. In the name of the law, you maintain the integrity of the society which has chosen you to defend it. I would have no problem in choosing between the life of a petty criminal and a wife, a wife I loved. You tell me something, sir. Whose side are you on? We are differently situated, but I am on the same side as you. Society has many ways of defending itself. With red tape, prison bars, and the revolver. It's about time. I could have bled to death. Where the hell have you been? Well? What have you been doing? Did you go to the police? To report me? Yes, I went to the police. But not to report you. 
Jesus Christ, I went for their help. They gave me some help and some advice. The result of all this help and advice was that I should see it through myself. What that? Vito, listen to me. I've been doing some thinking while you were gone. Everybody's in this as well as the police. Maybe I'm wrong, I want to be. It's crazy, but I don't think so. The only thing to do is to go to the papers and tell them the whole thing. The whole mess. And make such a noise, it'll drop them all in the shit. It won't work. They'll throw us against a wall. We can't do anything about it, don't you understand? We're up against something far bigger than ourselves. There isn't a wall in the world that can't be destroyed. And together, I'm sure we can make it. Look, if you go to the press now and start talking, they're gonna kill you, they're gonna kill me, they're gonna kill my wife. What's that gonna prove? I don't give a shit about you, or me, or anybody else, including your wife. I don't give a damn who gets killed. I'm gonna bust this thing wide open. Vito. Vito, will you come with me? Look at me, damn it. I was always destined to be a crook. But just once I want to show fate as a liar. Give me that chance. Come on. Vito, please. It won't work. Milo, it won't work. It won't work. Oh, God, will you stop? Will you stop? Will you, Milo, will you stop? fire. Consequently, he was compelled to kill the escaped prisoner Milo Ruiz for reasons of legitimate self-defense. As you can see from this report, which will be handed to the Italian authorities, it is very much in your favor. I'm sure you will be judged with great leniency. It will all be cleared up in a disciplinary hearing which is a formality, nothing more. And then everything will be back to normal. Please, come with me. His name was Michel Grenier. He was quite a big shot in the underworld. Is he the man you described? Are you sure you never saw him before? Yes. This is. Absolutely sure that I have never seen him before. Mm. 